I'm making a short video today to explain two other methods on the promise object that re gets returned from Ajax calls. So I'm going to start with the code I had in the last video where I introduced um, promises and the done method. So this is exactly the same from the last video. Um, there's a route on the index and there's a route Ajax test that is just used for sending a post request to and then a layout with the button. So what I'm going to do is only modify this one. I'm going to get rid of this success test. So I'll just, I'll actually delete it. I don't need it at all. So done gets called whenever the Ajax call successfully completes. Or in jQuery, they call it when it gets resolved. When it gets resolved, that means it finished successfully. I want to show you what happens in the case where it doesn't finish successfully. So I will change this URL to something that doesn't exist. I'm going to change it to does not exist. Save this. I'm going to get rid of this um, data.result and I'll just put finished. And I'll leave the console log of promise test there. So I'll refresh the page and I'll hit the button, which is going to fire off that Ajax call. I get a 404, but I don't get the alert and I don't get the console log like I do when I call Ajax test. So let me just put Ajax test back, refresh the page, and I hit test. So you see promise test shows up and finish pops up because the Ajax call completed successfully, so the promise object uh, got set to resolved because it completed successfully. So if I change this back to does not exist, well, how do I do something when this fails? So I do that by using the fail method on the promise object that's returned from here. So instead of done, I'll put fail and then I can refresh the page. And then when I hit test, promise test shows up. This gets a 404 because it doesn't exist. The promise object gets set to reject it, which means it failed. And this alert pops up. If I switch this back to something that does exist, Ajax test, and I refresh the page again, hit the button, nothing happens because the call completes successfully. Let me hit it again. There, and it completes successfully, but since it didn't fail, it doesn't go into this callback. And then the other method I want to show you is always. So always, always gets called. So regardless of whether it fails or it resolves, this will always get called. So this should succeed. Let me refresh again. Go back to the console. So it finished there. Then if I change it to does not exist and then refresh it. 404 but it still shows finish because this will always get run. So that's just what I want to show you in this video. Um, so now you should know how to use done, fail, and always when working with promises. Um, in the next video, I'll probably cover when, which allows you to do something when multiple promise objects or deferred objects resolve successfully. Um, so let's say you want to fire off 10 Ajax requests and you don't want to do something until all 10 have completed, you can use when. So that's for the next video. Thanks for watching.